Hello and welcome everyone. I'm C.S. Gilmore, and this is Dark Souls. So, we're going to head into this area of the Darkroot Garden beyond the Artorias Gate. So, I do believe this is the present area where a lot of the Ulysseal Forest was. But it's just, this is the present form of it. Oh, you're real. Okay. He's so translucent, I thought he may have been uh, another player's phantom for a little bit there. Stab. So, yeah, you get some actual characters there, like, human. Kind of interesting. I don't think I can make him bleed. Well, it makes sense if he's too... He's not entirely there, it seems. be a pain. And now he's dead. Well, he's worth a ton. Or if he respawns or not. He wasn't that hard to deal with. If he respawns, then hoo -hoo. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff out of these. Let's switch to the Black Knight Sword and try that out. Now then. Oh, Cleric. Sorcerer. My mistake. Okay. Can't tell if there's any others hiding out in this place. I'm gonna try to lure this guy out a little bit. There we go. That's what I need. Hi there. You and I need to have words. There we go. Easy kill. As long as you evade his attack, not bad. So these are so the defenders for this wood, I guess. This is a large place. Yeah, this is definitely reminiscent of the old forest zone we want we went through before. Oh, I see you. Good try. Stab. Ho ho. Backstab mania. That did a ton of damage. And now we got a cleric. Come here, you. Come here. You're not gonna cooperate, huh? Alright. We'll do it your way. That tree saved his life. I'm not gonna help you. No. No. Stop trying to heal. Now you're dead. This is what happens when you pick fights with people. Don't attack random strangers in the woods, and we won't have this issue. Hello. Ah, oh, you're another one. Where are you? Warrior of some kind? Double handed weapon attack? Okay. Well, he was really easy. Well, that's another bunch down. Let's clear out the rest of this area. And really get some exploration done. Nice place. Still have no idea how to get over to some of those items over near where the Moonlit Butterflies area was. I haven't found a way down or around. Probably missing a passage somewhere. Oh well. Now then. Hello you. So this person here is the Covenant Leader. She's also the one that led me to Sif. Sif is part of their Covenant, I think. Or an ally of theirs, at Is least. it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none 
but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have oh, thy respect. That. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. I've got to go on, though. I need the ring. I'm not quite sure why I should answer here. Let's say yes. Well, indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes. I believe we would suit thee well. Let's say yes for now. I am very glad. I don't think I have to and join And now them. thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. Yeah, and I can say no. Bannon's former covenant. So this is the forest hunter covenant. And yeah, the idea is... Basically, you, you focus a lot on player versus player in this area. Defending the woods. Killing people who would who would enter the woods and defile the graves and all that junk. Um, no. Oh, I see. Tis a pity indeed. But this is thine stubborn choice alone. I cannot enforce it upon thee. If thy well, mind should be altered, now. forsooth speak to me once more. Yeah. Now, if I had said no earlier... If I had... Yeah, if I had said no to the whole... Thing originally, I believe she would have just disappeared and been gone. And if I remember right, the only way to get her to come back would have been to go and get a uh, pardon from the one guy up at the the bell tower. I heard something. Eh, maybe not. Oh, there you are. I did hear someone. Came mean to swing again. Ah, oh, he's good. Good getting his guard up fast. Whoa. -oh. He might actually get me. Okay, he's got a good hit on him. Good swing. I'm being a bit careless here. Nah, there we go. And almost got him. Come here. There we go. We put up a decent fight. I take out Venus people. Unfortunately, they're attacking me on sight. They asked for it. Now then. So I've got the bridge across there through Alvina's little hidey hole. And is there anything else around here? I think there's... Okay, there's another bridge over there. That's near the waterfall. Um, you can get up to this area without using the gate of Artorias. You can actually get up here... What just hit me? Hello. Alright, so many arrows. But, uh, you can actually get up here via the... where the Hydra was down below. There was that waterfall with a ladder. And I have refrained from using that right at the moment, but... Okay, fine. Right, fine. There we go. Come here. Well, come on. There we go. Almost. Oh, you could play that game, huh? And now you're dead. Another one down. This is a nice little change of pace. Drink Maddie's, wow. Black Bow of Ferris? Ferris's hat. Was that a special character of some sort? Let's see. Um, I don't think I'm under attack from anything. So let's check that out. Okay, Ferris's hat, where is that? 
Oh, I should have gone down from the top instead. Alright. First was an accomplished archer, and though he was human, he ranked alongside Hawkeye Gao, one of the four knights of Lord Gwyn. His hat is universally popular among children. Broad-brimmed hat favored by the archer hero, Ferris. Okay. What about the weapon, then? There was a bow. Oh, where are you? Black bow of Ferris. Here we go. The preferred black bow of the heroic archer Ferris has a longer range than standard bows, but is more difficult to use. Without proper abilities, results will be underwhelming. What is its stats? So it looks like it relies heavily on dexterity, but it gets a big bo bonus words bonus from dexterity. Parameter bonus S from dexterity. That's pretty good. So not a bad bow. I wonder what it takes to level it up. Okay. So we've got that path there. Yeah, the forest has two parts to it. This half and then a second half, which is a little different. And it's the second half where we will find the boss gate for Sif. And Sif is a required boss. You have to defeat Sif in order to get the Abyss Walker's ring or something like that. A ring that allows me to enter the Abyss. Which um, is necessary to battle the Four Kings. Okay, let's make sure we're all done. Wow, there's lots of you guys. Out of my way. Okay, looks like we'll just get to this first half for the time being. Worry about the second half after that. Okay. Done. Anything up here? This seems like a good place to hide things. We've got the one area down there that leads across. And I believe that's also where the entrance for the ladder is. We'll check that out before we wrap up this episode, I think. Ooh, a little slip. Bit of a slide on that terrain there. I'll have to be careful along this cliff now because falling down here will kill me. That is a certainty. Now then, there's an item over there. Let's go get that. And let's see. Is that something? No. Okay. Got more of these plant people. They seem to be a common thing for this place. Ow. Okay, that hurt quite a bit. Alright, they killed me fair and square. I'll give them that. I was careless. Well. I should be able to get to this part really quickly, though, if I just head out and to the right. And I think all of those characters respawn. All those human enemies. I could be wrong there. Yep, there's the cleric, or the sorcerer over there. And others, so... If I keep to the right here, I believe I can avoid most of them. If not all of them. Yeah. Now to head for that item, which I believe is the one where I just died. It could be right over here. How about you? Okay. Yeah, we're in the clear here. Looks like none of the human types followed. Just got plant people. So I'm too soon. That was really bad timing on my part. Hi there. Die. Come on. You a plant person. Need to die too. Die. Thank you. Okay. I don't think. Yeah, don't really need blood red moss, but I have to keep grabbing it just in 
the hopes of getting uh, flowering purple moss because that, yeah, blooming purple, that was it. That's what I really want because I, well, I have a good bit now, but I didn't used to. All right, that went better. Where's my power? Go collect my souls. Then I can grab the soul item, whatever it is over there. How do I get over to... Okay, that's the way down into Darkroot Basin right over there. Eastern Armor. That's interesting. Yeah, that's the way down into Darkroot Basin down there. There's the Undeadburg, the Undead Parish. And... Sweet. I feel like I'm missing something, though. I've missed a passage somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Because I think there was a second way up into the Undead Parish. Another way into the Undead Parish that I'm missing. It would have brought me in to a different spot compared to where the Drake is. Unless I have to kill the Drake to get into that one entrance. I still need to deal with that Drake. I really should do that. Maybe after I deal with Sif, I'll work out how to deal with it, get past the Drake or kill it. Though it is a much harder fight in many ways just because of its position. Okay. Oh, that's a way down. I thought that was just the same drop in a cliff. And I was kind of caught off guard by that. Okay, that's what this is. So let's explore over here. Alright, we've got a ladder down. That area leads into the second half. And there should be some interesting creatures over there. Along with more mushroom people. There should be some... I want to say there were some giant cat monsters as well. Why am I going this slowly? So, down here... If you fall in the water, you die. Don't do that. Silver Brave Warrior. Excellent. Now, this area is... A touch odd thing to the side here. It's a little treacherous to get along that edge. And if I climb along here, we can get a look over. And I can't remember if there are any items over on this end of things, which is why I'm headed over this way. So we got the ladder here. We got the waterfall there. I can't remember if there was any way go down the waterfall without dying. But, let's climb on this. And slide. And voila. We are down in Darkroot Basin. Right next to the waterfall. And, yeah. We're headed across this bridge down near the waterfall. I believe we'll run into the giant cats in this area. Cat creatures, anyway. I can't remember for sure what they were, but maybe they were dogs. Giant creatures, either way. Nope, cats. Giant cat creatures, and they are pretty nasty if I remember right. Hey there. Hey, kitty. Yep, roll attack and hit points. Okay, that one went really easily. I remember them being tougher. Oh, there's two up there, so that could definitely make a difference if I get them both after me at once. I mean, they're pretty agile for maneuvering the landscape. That looks like they got one of them after me at least. Nope, they're both after me. There's the one I want. Yep, killed the one. 
heal. Come back, kitty. Jumbo kitty. Jumbo roly poly kitty. Let me get me. Oh, wasn't the way I expected you to come after me. Okay. No biting. Yeah, kitty. There we go. Interesting creatures. They kind of look like the leader of the forest covenant, but bigger and more angry. Okay, well, we got a soul here. I think there's a cliff right here. Yes. I believe right over... Th hmm, I'm not sure. I think over there is just some decoration, but that bridge down there leads across, and over that in area is also where you fight Sith. So. Let's clear this side of the area before we go after Sith, though. Sith will be its own episode. Let's see. I know there are mushroom people in this forest. Ah, there we go. They're over there. Where are they guarding? Oh, a chest. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of mushroom people. Old pine resin. Oh, that is nice. You get good stuff from it. We got these little ones there running around. That way I don't have uh, you sneaky up behind me, hopefully. Definitely don't want to get caught surrounded. Then I'm taking on the big ones. It's weird that they always make that noise when they die. A weird whistling noise. Alright. You're down. Okay. Let's see about getting that chest. Hi right there. Catch a fireball. too soon. And put myself for rain range. I'll work on that. Whoops. Okay, yeah, I definitely got work on my reach. I'm messing it up a lot. But, that's one of the big ones down. They don't seem to like the fireballs. They have got plenty of those. Well, had plenty of those. They are also able to suck them up. No. There we go. And I'm at about out of fireballs. So, good time. What do you have? Enchanted Ember. Ah. That's interesting. I didn't realize there were any more embers. Huh. Enchanted? Well, I guess, guess I'll have to figure out who that goes to and what they can do with it. Sounds cool. Huh. Okay, is that a body or a flower? That is a flower. Okay. Here we're back at where the Forest Covenant feature was. Can't fit under there, it looks like. Let's check this other building. I don't know if you can summon anyone to help you with Sif. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. I'm wrong, but I don't know. Okay, all the 
people are back over there, so I'll avoid them for the time being. And let's get uh, can't get down the stairs faster by just jumping. Oh well. Let's see. Quite the place. <sighs> yeah, I know I'm missing some passages in this area. Well, I mean, not this area, but somewhere in Dark Rugarn. I'm missing something, it seems, because I should be able to get to those things that were over near the Moonlit Butterfly, and I'm not seeing anything of that sort. Alright, got mushroom people over here. Don't see any items, though. I'll just keep moving. And I think this is it. Yep, this looks like it for this place. Don't see any more items. But, let's see. Drop down here. More mushroom people. Okay. So this area should be where I need to go in order to get to Sif. Let's see if there's any items hidden down here. The answer is apparently no. Okay. We've got this crossing here. I do not want to fall off, as that would kill me. Nothing hidden here. I'm not seeing anything. But well, it could hide something here easily enough. Alright. So we've got the gate towards Sif next. That other half took very little time, actually. Hmm. Hope I didn't miss anything. The kitties didn't take too long, after all. But yeah, this is the gateway to Sif's boss battle. Let's pop that door open. I think I used the Crest of Artorias. And this is the, bas the boss battle area. Pretty open. But Sif won't come out until I get near the grave. <sighs> Sorry, Sif. I think if there's anything else I should do here. Mm. I think that's about it. Should prep for the battle. Take that off. Let's put. Where is it? There we go. Let's put one of those there. Remove these. Remove these. that and remove that. That way I'll just have some healing ready to go. And I think I've got some stamina regeneration stuff here still too. Yeah. Just in case you need it. So I'll probably face Sif like this. I don't think there's any major differences I need to make. I might end up two-handing my weapon, but if I recall correctly, the shield is actually semi-effective here. Maybe not. It may just be easier to dodge anyway, but... Sif's got some interesting attacks. Wasn't very much help during the... Manus fight. Like, it doesn't provide a lot of help there other than being a meat shield. But Sif is a lot bigger now. And has a much bigger sword. And does a lot more damage. And is much more aggressive. But we'll get into that. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!